Shalina A. Franklin. Her topic is housing, mobile homes, and roads. I'm here this afternoon because I'm very concerned about our neighborhood. I'm from the West End. And we need to do everything in our power. If we receive something, you appreciate it. And we need to start cleaning up the West End. When I went over here last week, I saw two sets of dilapidated trailers owned by Mr. Um, Mr. Singleton. It's awful. If you are going to acquire such buildings, make sure you ask if it's legal. Because I've had, I have four lots. And we were told that we cannot put trailers on those lots. We have to put modular on the lots. Those trailers that is on the corner of Merriman Road and Emmanuel and G Avenue, we used to call Alex Alford Drive, the corner of Alex Alford Drive, and William, it's awful. If, it's, if, if it is accepted by the committee, then it should be given a time limit to renovate it to the epitome, having everything in it and present it to the West End. Right now, it's an eyesore. It's awful. To see what has been put up in our neighborhood is a travesty. It sets us back. That should not be. It should be about the community, not just one person. We would like to know how that he, Mr. Singleton, was allowed to even move those dilapidated, raggy buildings into the north end, the west end. It shouldn't be. What gives him and who gives him the right to do that? I heard what was said and I agree with the appearance of what you see. Because sometimes what you see is not reality, it's what it is. I'm a contractor. Those models that you see are built better than 90% of the houses over there. Your students, your students with them. They're the school in the model. All over the state, that's where I got them from. Those that were built before 2005, you can't stop them from coming in. If I, when, when, when I get through with them, regardless of what happened, come to look at them. See, at one time, the black man looked like that. Because we came here, we were in bondage. You see, but I, I said, I'm going to do something for the homeless. She said she wouldn't let a dog stand in this for that. But I'm master builder. I'm not just no hinky dinky builder. I was raised to be the best. I won nine lots over there. And we've been fighting for over two years that you could bring in new manufactured homes over there and they stopped us. 200 lots we've been fighting for, not my lots. Because I can build from the ground up. From the ground up. And I can afford it. But then you don't care about our people. You talk about your ancestors fighting to have property over there so you so it can look better. But you don't fight for our people. When those 200 lots, when it came up, that those lots were going to be sold. Because the people can't put anything on it. They can't build, they can't put manufacturing homes on it. I didn't see Habitat. If Habitat was about God, where were you? When we were fighting for these lands. You know why I put it there? I'm going to tell you why I put it there. Yes, I'm a builder. But Genesis 15, 13 says this. God was talking to Abraham, and he said, Abraham, know for sure that thy seed shall be in a strange land that's not theirs for over 400 years. And God said, after that time, I will come and bring them out of the great substance. There have not been a people nowhere in the history that's been in bondage in a strange land but me. Mm -hmm. And to prove that to us, in Deuteronomy 18, 18, it says this. God was talking to Moses. And he said, Moses, one will come like you in the last day. And he will speak that which I speak to him. He will come from among his brethren. Why did God say like Moses? Because Moses came from a people that was in bondage. Those people that you heard tonight is in bondage. They don't care that I'm doing something for the homeless. They don't care that I'm a master builder. They don't care that how it's going to look. Yes, I'm a master builder. And when I get through with it, you will see 
care nothing about their people. They're more about materialistic things. The law allows me to bring that in. I've been begging for you all to let us bring in new manufactured homes. But you don't want that. You want that to what's there. You fought for those margins. When you leave at a night, I want you to remember one thing in closing. You all fought for those to be on those corners. Because your law says that's the only thing that can be done. Thank you. Thank you, Brother mm -hmm. Um If I may, can um, Mr. Smith, would you get with Ms. Franklin, uh, Ms. Graham, Ms. Keith, and Ms. Moutry, and Brother Willie Lee? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can all, along with myself, let's get together so we can go ahead and give the answers that the, uh, the people are seeking.